on the M.M. Roberts Stadium field here, uh, Demi Mixon here. I wanted to talk specific video about the quarterbacks today. Who won the quarterback position uh, today on scrimmage day here at the Rock Southern Miss? Day nine of fall camp is a scrimmage. They do this every year. They'll do two big scrimmages. So they're going to have another one next week, next Saturday. This is actually going to be, uh, I think they're calling it Golden Eagle Fan Fan Day or something like that, Fan Fest. And uh, that's when the fans can come out. Everybody today was just to the top collective, but everybody can come out and watch this Golden Eagle team. Uh, but in this scrimmage today, I would say you have to say Tate Rodemaker won the day today. Outside of his day on Monday, which was probably his worst day out of all, all of camp, today might have, you could have argued, been his best day of all of camp. The way he was able to read, go through his reads, go through his progressions. As I said, uh, 9 for 16, 152 yards and a touchdown. He had another touchdown possibility. The guy just dropped it. Um, so really, really great day from Tate Rodemaker today. And he's really sort of, I feel like you could argue he's kind of separating himself to be the starting quarterback for Southern Miss this season. And the reason you, you're seeing that, you know, He's consistently going first in all the drills. You can't make a lot of that, obviously. But there is something to that. And when you start showing out in scrimmages and live action scenarios and two minute drills and all this stuff, that's when the separation can really uh, start to happen. And when Ethan Crawford is trying to, you know, get into that, get into that uh, separation, he's trying to cut into that quote unquote lead, the age gap is obviously a, a big issue for these coaching staff. But Ethan Crawford has to excel. They have to, they have to, give them no reason not to start him and some of the throws he made today some of the decisions he made today um, not the best he obviously threw that interception at the end of practice but uh, Crawford 8 for 17 116 yards and touchdown so not a terrible day by any means not saying he had a terrible day just Tate Rodemaker was better and I think that when you start to get closer and closer to time we're three weeks away from Southern Miss taking the field in Lexington against Kentucky when you start to get closer and closer to those moments uh, you really need your players especially Crawford and Rodemaker who are your quarterbacks to excel and so I think that even though uh, Rodemaker didn't have the best day on Monday today he's shown why he's going to take that starting position so as far as who's won the day at quarterback it's going to be Tate Rodemaker and that might change Monday when we're back out here for more practice might change Tuesday, um, but we're coming closer and closer to the time when Will Hall's going to name that starting quarterback. I would expect him to, to name it not next week, but the next, and uh, we'll see what he says at the end of fall camp. But go to SouthernMississippiStudioMedia.com, SM2Media.com to read all of our coverage there. Follow me on Twitter, Dima Mixon, Dima underscore Mixon, and thanks for watching.